Now, the third say, alignment of the sun is on the other side of the mountain, which is the rock of Bohe. Okay. This was discovered by Jerry Bracken, not the rock, but the alignment of the sun was discovered by Jerry in 1989. And the reason why is this side here, you see lots of cup and ring marks, and there's hundreds of them on this side. <laughs> this site um, was recently owned by Don Gibbons, and the county council has, has bought the site, which is, which is really good news. So it'll be protected. This is the, there are numerous rock art sites in County Mead, up in Armagh, places like this, but this is the only rock art site in Connacht, and it's got extensive rock art on it. So Jerry reckoned there must be some reason for this, so he studied it, and he soon realised that at certain times of the year, the sun which uh, the sun will roll down Kirkpatrick. So Kirkpatrick is five miles west of this. And during April of each year, and August of each year, I'm just trying to find the exact dates, on the 18th of April mm -hmm. and the 24th of August, the sun lines up. Now, what Jerry also discovered is there's, 100, there's 122 days from the 18th of April to the 24th of August. There's another 122 days to the 21st of December. So it splits the year into three parts, not four parts. So we see the four spring, autumn, winter, summer. So he was very, very impressed by this. Why were there 122 days between each part of this? So I was out on a foreign trip, and there was a book written about the pyramids in Egypt. And a man had written a book about the setting sun rolling down the pyramids and the seasons, three seasons, not four seasons. And of course, when you think about it, the three seasons are important. You plant in April, you harvest in August, and you need to know the shortest day of the year. It, it wasn't necessary for ancient road of man to have four seasons. And also in Scotland, it's also known there is a, there's a culture up there of having three seasons. Now what happens, this is, this is the art, art work, so you, you always see it better when it's raining, because it takes the shape of the rock. <coughs> And this is just getting ready for the setting sun. But of course, as you know, when you face the sun, everything in front of you goes dark. This is the amazing thing about this. So you have a full sun, you can see all the fields and walls. But the minute the sun sets at the top of this mountain, everything on this side of the mountain suddenly goes dark. And it takes 16 minutes, but the angle of the setting sun is the same angle as the edge of Cropatry. And it takes 16 minutes from the summer to the end. So this is this is Jerry's shot, and he exposed this film four times to get this one. And this is this is obviously another shot that's been exposed three times. It is a phenomenal sight to see. You don't have to be there on exactly the uh, 18th of April or the 24th of August, you know, because you can keep on moving say, a few feet each day. So so you can see this sight certainly for three weeks in April and three weeks in August. But nobody really knows what it's about. But we know that it's there, and we know that the Rock of Bohe, which is also known as St. Patrick's Chair, is connected to Pro Patrick.